Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a fillable worksheet for your courses or for anywhere else where you want to give someone a file, a PDF file that they can open on, up on their computer and then fill in directly there versus having to download and print it. You can see on your screen now our story selling plan template. This is in a Word document and it's one of our templates or worksheets from our course on the art of storytelling. You would open this up, make any edits you want, add your branding, add a different title, add different fonts, colors, and make sure in the footer you have your company name, URL, and anything else you want. And once you're done with your Word document, you need to save it as a PDF. I'm going to go directly in and just click on File and then Export and then create PDF. You'll indicate where you want to save it. And I am just going to save it in my downloads right now. You click publish and it will open it up on your computer and you can check through and make sure everything is the way you want it. Now, once you have this PDF, you can go directly to a site called PDF Filler and start adding your fillable fields there, or you can open up Canva and put the PDF there and make some extra design changes. To do that, you go over to the home page in Canva, you go find your file on your computer and you can drag and drop it into that home screen. It will create a new design project and you can click on that and open it. Once you have it open, You'll have to fix a few things like the fonts here are not all the same size and you might want to add some design elements too. For instance, I could add a graphic by going over to my elements and typing in something like story, since this is about story selling, move it to wherever you want it on the page, maybe add your logo. I have it uploaded here already and move that wherever you want it. You could add it to every page on the site in your design. And then once you're done adding anything you want, you'll now need to save this as a PDF so that it's ready for PDF filler. You do that by going to the upper right to share, then click on download and select the right file type. You pick PDF standard and then download it. It will do that work in the background and save it to your downloads folder. Once that's done, we go over to PDF Filler. This is a very reasonably priced tool and you can get a free trial for about two weeks, I believe, so you can see whether you like it or not and want to use it and create more fillable worksheets and other forms and documents. I'm on the main page here. I click on Add New to add that new file. I upload the document and I can drag it right in. So I take the one I did in Canva and I drag and drop it in. I click on start editing because I can do it immediately. It will load it up. And now you can see it's all here ready to work on. To create those fillable fields, I'm going to click on the bottom first bit so that I can see the whole page on the screen. And then over on the right, I click on add fillable fields. And I want to auto add the fields so that I don't have to do each one manually. So you click on that and then you'll just have to wait a little bit while it figures out where the fields are and starts working on those. Okay, it's all finished. And now we just need to adjust some of these fields because it doesn't get it exactly right the first time. For instance, here it's a little bit off. You can click on any of these and just adjust them by dragging the corners and making it fit. Or if there are extra ones, there's a little trash can on the right. And I'll go through and fix all these one by one on each page. You'll see in some places that maybe it's overlapping. So you'd need to adjust that. It's missing one here. So I'm going to copy one by clicking Control C and then Control V and moving that into the right place. And then just going through the whole document and fixing anything else that looks wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, I've fixed all the fields. 
I'm on the last page here. If I were doing this as, say, a lead magnet or wanted them to do something else afterwards, in the Word document or in Canva, I would have added an extra page with some sort of call to action. But we're all set now, and I am going to go ahead and publish this as a fillable PDF. You go to the upper right, click Save initially. That way you can check it and see everything that's filled in. And finally, I'm going to click on the little download button. So I click on that processing. The changes are saved. Now I want to save this on my computer as a fillable PDF. So I'm going to click on save as, and it has downloaded it successfully to my download. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what it looks like. And here we go. You can see story selling plan template. I've already typed something in here so that you can see that I can just type it in. And your students, you would give that file that you just downloaded. They can then open it, type things in, and then download it using the upper right-hand corner with their changes. And they could download it with a different file name ready to use and open up and reuse whenever they want. And that's everything. Remember, I used a combination of a Word document that was brandable from our course on the art of story selling, but you can use anything. I saved that as a PDF. You can use that directly in PDF Filler, or you can put it into Canva, add some extra design, and save it as a PDF again there. Upload it to PDF Filler, have it automatically add all those fillable fields, and then print it off as a PDF that you can share with your students. That's all for now, and I hope that was helpful.